The Assembly will now take a decision on draft resolution A-77-L100, entitled, I quote, International Decade of Sciences for Sustainable Development 2024-2033, end of quote. I now give the floor to the distinguished representative of Serbia to introduce the draft resolution A-77-L100. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends. I am honored to present the draft resolution for the International Decades of Science for Sustainable Development on behalf of core group of countries, including Argentina, Honduras, Cuba, Spain, South Africa, Hungary, Vietnam, and my country, Serbia. The topic we are addressing is of immense importance as we strive to underscore the vital role of science in our joint pursuit of sustainable development. Therefore, it seems fitting to start with a quote of Nikola Tesla, great Serbian-American inventor, progressive development of man is vitally dependent of innovation. This quote reminds us that our progress relies on science. Nevertheless, today focus is not on any kind of progress. It's centered around sustainable progress. We are facing complex challenges, some of which are existential for humankind. Time is not a luxury we can afford anymore. We cannot repeat the historical pattern of waiting until circumstances force us into necessary actions. In our effort to achieve the sustainable development goals, we learned two major lessons. First, we have the power to make the difference. It has been shown that progress is not only theoretically within the reach, but achievable. We have surpassed certain crucial millennium development goals, such as reducing hunger and increasing education. This success wasn't coincidence. It was a result of deliberate decision, well-timed actions, and collective dedication aligned with MDGs. Second, progress remains fragile. The same challenges that we have been trying to address persist, often because of all pattern of behavior. The COVID-19 pandemic has set us back, and conflicts have shaken our confidence. Hunger and educational setbacks are returning, and the tools for human dignity and gender equality are strained. Misguided solutions based on fear and ignorance are gaining traction. This year, halfway to the deadline, is projected none of SDG goals, and only 12% of the targets will be met. We need to regroup. How do we move forward? Our only option is to rely on our collective brain power and knowledge, the science that explains, enables, and guides us. If we want to achieve what is not just desirable but necessary, science is our best, if not only tool. Knowledge created by science play a pivotal role in accelerating the implementation of SDGs. But for this purpose, global science must evolve too. Knowledge should be more open and accessible, and its production should be more open to sustainable innovation. Equally important, our focus also needs to be on integrating knowledge into the decision-making process. Serbia firmly believes that the global challenges require global cooperation. Building on momentum of year of science, we have proposed international decades of science for sustainability, receiving strong support from like-minded countries in the core group. Clearly, the initiative aimed to elevate the role of science in addressing a global challenges and advancing sustainable development. This is especially relevant given the statement in the 2023 draft SDG report and, the, and that the current platform are insufficient. By advocating for this initiative, we aim to establish a broad long-term platform for collective action, knowledge exchange, and international collaboration. Initiative envision diverse scientific disciplines collaborating to make meaningful progress in this area. We urge UNESCO to fulfill its role as the lead agency in implementing of this initiative. We also invite all the members to engage in ensuing events and to stay informed and vigilant on our journey towards the SDGs. Together, let's seize this opportunity to create a transformative impact that transcends border, accelerate SDG progress, and shape a brighter future for generations to come. Throughout collaboration, coordination, and collective action, we can ensure a robust and successful decades that leave no one behind. Thank you very much. I thank 
I should like to announce that since the submission of the draft resolution and in addition to those delegations listed on the EO document, the following countries have also become co-sponsors of EO 100. Andorra, Armenia, Bangladesh, Belarus, Belgium, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Bulgaria, Cambodia, China, Croatia, Dominican Republic, Egypt, Greece, Indonesia, Italy, Kenya, Kyrgyzstan, Latvia, Lithuania, Malaysia, Malta, Monaco, Montenegro, Kingdom of the Netherlands, Pakistan, Peru, Philippines, Poland, Portugal, Russian Federation, Senegal, Singapore, Slovenia, Syrian Arab Republic, Tajikistan, Thailand, Timor-Leste, Turkey, United Kingdom, United Republic of Tanzania, and the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela. If any other countries wish to co-sponsor L100, please signify by pressing the microphone button. I see Morocco, Kiribati, Cyprus, Kazakhstan, Republic of Moldova, Zimbabwe, Maldives, Thank you, Mr. President. The Assembly will now take a decision on draft resolution A 77 L100, entitled, I quote, International Decade of Sciences for Sustainable Development 2024 2033. End of quote. May I take it that the Assembly decides to adopt draft resolution A 77 L100? I see no objection. So it is so decided. I recognize the distinguished representative of Colombia. Senor Presidente. Oh. Señor Presidente, Colombia está convencida de que la ciencia, tecnología e innovación son clave para lograr el desarrollo sostenible en sus tres dimensiones, para me mejorar el bienestar humano y para transitar a modelos económicos en armonía con, nat con la naturaleza. En ese sentido, celebramos la adopción de esta resolución y la, pro y la proclamación de esta década internacional de la ciencia para el desarrollo sostenible. En esa línea, damos la bienvenida y la inclusión de la perspectiva de género en esta resolución, como lo reconoce el texto, la equidad de género y el empoderamiento de todas las mujeres y las niñas será una contribución crucial para alcanzar los objetivos de desarrollo sostenible. Sin embargo, como hemos venido sosteniendo en diferentes escenarios multilaterales, la transversalización de la perspectiva de género es un llamado que los Estados reiteramos al sistema de Naciones Unidas año a año y requiere, más que reconocer el rol de las mujeres y las niñas, más que reconocer el rol que tienen las mujeres y las niñas en la tecnología o, su o que su participación sea fortalecida. En este contexto, Colombia, en línea con su política exterior feminista, feminista abogó consistentemente durante la negociación para hacer referencia expresa a las conclusiones acordadas de la Comisión de la Condición Jurídica y Social de la Mujer, particularmente las del 67-avo periodo de sesiones que se enfocaron en la innovación y el cambio tecnológico y la educación en la era digital. Siendo el foro intergubernamental especializado en los asuntos de género, la relevancia de los acuerdos consensuados a los que año a año llegan los estados en el seno de la Comisión, después de un largo e inclusivo proceso de liberación, no debería ser objeto de cuestionamientos. Más aún tratándose de un escenario que provee una visión holística y más allá de reconocer las contribuciones de la mitad de la población a los temas que hoy nos ocupan, sino de aprovechar el potencial de la tecnología y la innovación para mejorar sus vidas. Lamentamos que ese lenguaje no haya sido aceptado por algunas delegaciones, pero confiamos que en la década que inauguraremos con esta resolución se fomenten discusiones sustantivas para abordar también las causas y consecuencias de las enormes brechas que enfrentan las mujeres y las niñas en la ciencia. Para ello, resulta fundamental seguir avanzando en pro de la igualdad de género en escenarios multilaterales, construyendo sobre lo acordado en instrumentos como la Declaración y Plataforma 
de Acción de Beijing, la Agenda 2030 para el Desarrollo Sostenible y las conclusiones acordadas de la Comisión de la Condición Jurídica y Social de la Mujer. Colombia continuará comprometida para hacer de la equidad de género una realidad. Muchas gracias, señor presidente. I thank the distinguished representative of Colombia.